Just wanted to do a quick video to show how to use a vernier on a dial during safe manipulation. I took a quick look on YouTube and nothing popped out. So it's a very good beginner's tool. Uh, it allows you to read very accurately your contact points. So you'll notice that it's got 10 numbers on it and you don't need the 10th, but the 10th should line up with nine numbers on the dial. So since this is 10 numbers and that's nine below, each of these lines up here are one tenth less than a full number on the dial. So they're 0 0.9, nine tenths of a full number. What that allows you to do is to read it down into tenths. And I'll show you how here. It's just easier to show you than try to explain. Let's find this contact point. There's my contact point. And we're between 13 and 14, but where are we in there? Uh, so if you look at the lines on the vernier and the lines on the dial and find which ones line up the closest. In this case, it looks like 0.3. The 3 is the closest. Remember to look straight on. Always look straight onto your dial where you're reading it. So in this case, the number is 13.3. Find the other contact point here. And we're between 5 and 6. Look to see which one lines up the best. And in this case, it looks like 7. It's probably your best lining up. There it was. So that contact point is 5.7. It's very consistent, very simple to read. And uh, uh, beginning, uh, it comes in very handy. Uh, after you do a bunch, you'll find you don't need it anymore because you'll get so used to reading it that you can read those. Uh, now what that is, that is a piece of sticky paper. There is an HTML application that I will put that web address below. Uh, I did not create this application, and kudos to whoever did. Uh, it will let you print these out. Oh, brightness. There we go. It will let you print these out. And the diameter of this is very important. There we go. The diameter is very important. That diameter is going to be the diameter of your dial. And it will let you select things like, do you want to do tenths? Do you want to do eighths? How many of these around that piece of paper you want to print and then just take it and take scissors and cut out what you need pull the back off the paper and stick it on your dial now you don't have to be absolutely super accurate on getting this lined up with zero the reason for that is is we are looking for differences in the contact point and as long as you don't take that back off there, it doesn't matter where it is.